everyone, please give one more very warm welcome to the amazing Max Foster, everybody. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I hope everyone can see. I got a little bit dressed <laughs> up right now. Um, I'm gonna show you. I'm, um, oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've, uh, I've never done stand up before. <laughs> never in my whole life ever done stand up. <laughs> so I feel kind of random right now. <laughs> right now but i don't know i'm just gonna go for it okay should i just go for it okay yeah all right okay oh, stop it okay <laughs> the night that hurricane katrina hit the shores of new orleans and killed a million people <laughs> for my mother's vagina via cesarean infection my father It's really weird. Um, I, I didn't really plan for you guys to start laughing already. Um, that was kind of like my honesty part. So I think I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. But it was great having you guys. Please round of applause for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wait, no. Yes. <laughs> Come back. Who was that? <laughs> Who the hell? I just walked in here. Who the hell just was on the stage? Okay, all right. So, um, so guys, my name is Maxim Foster. I used to go by Max, but now I go by Maxim because Max is the name of a dog and Maxim is the name of a sexy women's magazine. Okay, so are you listening now? Sexy Women's Magazine. You don't have to mute it anymore because of the weird gay thing at the beginning with the mask. All right. So I feel like gay men and drunk women are kind of like my demographic and I need to branch out a bit more. I feel like straight men are kind of like the bridge to that. Yeah. So I'm also named after Maxim De Winter, who is this character from this gorgeous black and white film by Daphne du Maurier. Who cares? My mom loves this film. And man, Maxim De Winter main character of this film so he comes on scene and he is sexy and he's suave and charming and we have a lot in common okay <laughs> and basically about halfway through this movie me and my mom find out that maxim de winter murdered his ex-wife by sticking a knife in her heart setting her body on fire and setting her whole house ablaze <laughs> And my mom turns to me and she says, you got some big shoes to fill, kid. <laughs> so, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, it's on my bucket list. Um, yeah, I am an English major, which is just code for I'm going to be very unemployed and very gay throughout my 20s. <laughs> my 20s are just a slog, but the second I hit my 30s, man, I'm going to be a public school teacher. <laughs> which is great that's great or whatever it's uh heroic whatever um so i also never had to come out to my parents so uh, win for feminism i uh, i just told my mom i wanted to learn how to play the harp which is basically the same thing <laughs> i told my mom mom can i please learn how to play the harp and she was like oh sure back it Oh, how cute! <laughs> <laughs> we all laughed a little too hard at that. A little bit too hard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom and I love to watch movies together, and she was always supportive of my sexuality. So one time, uh, we were watching Titanic, and we were watching it, and she kind of turns to me and she's like, "You know, Max." <laughs> A lot of the girls liked young Leonardo DiCaprio, and some of the boys liked him too, and that's okay. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Did you hear that, Max? Some of the boys liked him too. And I was like, Mom, the ship is sinking. They don't have enough boats. Babies are dying. Can I come out to you in three years, <laughs> please? <laughs> Not very fun. Not very fun. So I'm trying to do things that scare me a bit more. I didn't drink a lot as a teenager. I was really scared of it. So I'm drinking a bit more. And every time that I get drunk, I'm kind of like, oh, now I realize why Amy Winehouse was so sad all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. Yeah, they call 
alcohol liquid courage. I call it liquid my dad yelling at the TV. I don't know <laughs> how I play. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's not like a bad yelling. It was more so <laughs> yelling at HGTV. So it's like not really that bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad's gay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, I also <laughs> want to do new things. I want to get my ears pierced. And I know before you jump to conclusions, it's because my parents are divorced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's why. We all know that's the reason. It's also the reason that I'm gay and the reason I used to role play as a wolf on Facebook. We know this. <laughs> um, I also want to get a tattoo, but I don't know where to get it. And it's kind of a big decision. And I'm not like that good at big decisions. People just say, go with your gut. But if I were to go with my gut, I would probably get the words, I wish I was straight, like right above my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like Helvetica or like Comic Sans, like, or maybe like a different font for every letter, just to, like mix it up, you know, just so the person who's about to literally fuck me knows what kind of mental state that I'm in. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, also, I am newly single, exciting. No, it's not. This sucks. Um, I, I keep thinking that I see my ex everywhere, but it turns out that every white gay guy looks the exact same. The exact same. <laughs> like, even me. I, I look pretty similar to him. And so I keep thinking I see him. I thought I saw him six times last week, but it turned out I was just looking in the mirror every single fucking time. Crying. <laughs> it's a cycle. Yeah. And so, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of thrust back into the dating scene. I like to flirt, you know, I'm someone who likes to have SD double hockey sticks sometimes, you know. <laughs> I don't know. And um, kind of weird. And uh, I was talking to this one guy and he was like, <laughs> my weakness is white guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude, that's history's weakness, <laughs> man. <laughs> Might not want to say that one out loud. <laughs> oh my God. And of course, in the throes of my loneliness, I have guilty watched porn. Oh, it's great. I did not know they made that stuff. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's free. Um, I found this one video that I thought was just amazing. And it was titled... Teen twink meets college roommate fucked rough by teacher disguised <laughs> as a Teen twink meets college roommate fucked rough by teacher disguised as satyr. No punctuation. <laughs> um, it was great. It was very interesting. So to set the scene, there's this teen twink, fresh meat, disgusting, but hot, kind of. And so he walks in. He comes to his dorm, he meets his college roommate. So the teen twink and the college roommate are best friends now. But little does the teen twink know that the college <laughs> roommate <laughs> is being fucked up by a teacher. <laughs> or so he thinks. <laughs> guy at Seder. So the college roommate is being fucked by someone who he thinks is a Seder. From Greek mythology. <laughs> and let's, be honest, let's be honest. The man part is on top and the goat part is on bottom. So if the college roommate is being fucked by the satyr, he's being fucked with the goat part. And that's that's the part that really got me. But it's teacher disguised as satyr. So that disguise kind of implies this like Scooby-Doo pulling back the mask, like, revealing. <laughs> like, like, somewhere in the third act, at the very end, the 11th hour of this film. Oh, my God. The character resolution, the denouement's about to happen. It is revealed that it was the teacher <laughs> the college roommate in the satyr outfit. <laughs> While the college roommate was meeting the teen twink. And so, of course, I watched it, and of course, it was just a scene from the Percy Jackson movie. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna be friends with this one. Um, I have been told that I am human, and I'll believe it when I see it, okay? <laughs> that I am human, but 
sometimes I wonder if maybe, just maybe, there is some part of me that is part crow by how terrified I am of scarecrows. Okay. You're probably saying, Max, we're all terrified of scarecrows. When I see a scarecrow, I get a chill down my spine. No. When I see a scarecrow, I want to fucking fly away. And I use that word carefully, okay? Fly <laughs> away. I'm just saying, there were a lot of farmers in my family, and the farm can get pretty lonely. And there's a lot of birds on those farms. And the birds are sitting there, and the farmers are sitting there, and the birds are sitting there, and the farmers are sitting there. I think you know where I'm going with this. Basically, I think if you scroll back on Ancestry.com far enough, it's just going to be like the movie Rio. Birds everywhere. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you so much. My name is Max Foster. Woo! 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 Woo!